Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And in this short video, uh, we're going to consider another video in our series of videos dealing with probability theory, uh, I suppose, and we're also we're going to explore our probability concepts through the use of contingency tables. Uh, but this video is concentrating on the concept of independence, and more importantly, the multiplication rule. So, an independence within the multiplication rule. So, uh, well, what we have is this is the multiplication rule says something like this multiplication rule right the multiplication rule uh, says something like this is that the probability of a and b is equal to the pro uh, the product of the probabilities the probability of a times the probability of b when the two events a and b are independent of each other when they're independent of each other uh, otherwise the probability of a and b uh, is equal to the product of the probabilities of probability of A times the probability of B, where B is conditioned or knowing that A has occurred, and this situation is when they're dependent on each other. Uh, the important point here is this, is that uh, this these two probabilities here, they look exactly the same, okay, they both got an A part, okay, uh, but you can see that the B part might necessarily be different. So really the test of independence, okay, the test of independence reduces down to testing uh, if the probability of B is equal to the probability of B given A well then the two things are independent of each other independent okay? uh, if the probability of B is not equal to the probability of B given A well then what we know is that we have a dependent situation so we really need to test uh, we need to really explore this part of the multiplication rule uh, these two things here, okay, in either form of the multiplication rule, uh, to see whether we have independent or dependent events. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to look at contingency tables. So let's look at the following contingency table. This is an argument. Let's say we have product A. We have you don't purchase product A. Let's say we have product B. You don't purchase product B. Let's say we have 10, 30, 25, and 45. Uh, we have 40, 60, 100, let's say 45 and 65. Actually, I took this contingency table out of a textbook, which is uh, uh, Business Statistics by Berenson and Levine, so I should probably just reference that there, uh, or cite that particular book. Uh, that'd be important. Uh, so let's actually try to figure out some probabilities. Okay? Uh, let's actually calculate the probability of B, uh, first of all. Okay, So in this case here, from this contingency table, the probability of B... Uh, is simply equal to, well, how many people to purchase product B? There's 35 out of 100. So it's equal to 35 out of 100. That's the probability of randomly selecting a person uh, and that that person uh, purchase product B, okay? which is, I suppose, divide by 5 on top and on the bottom here gives us 7 uh, seven out of 20 uh, possible possible. Uh, possible choices. Let's calculate the next probability. Let's calculate the probability of B knowing that A has occurred. Okay. Uh, so in this situation here, we know that A has occurred, so we know that B has been selected from A has happened. So we want to know what's the probability of B knowing that A has happened. So the probability of B knowing that A has happened, well, here's A here. A is along this row here. So what's the chances of selecting B from these guys? Well, you've got 10 chances out of 40. So we have 10 chances out of 40, which gives us a 1 of 4 chance. And the important thing here is this, is that these two probabilities are not equal to each other. They're not equal to each other. So this in this scenario here, we have dependence between, between A and B. Okay? Because when we selected B knowing that A has happened, the probability changed. So with the extra information, we end up with a different probability. Not knowing any extra information, the probability of B is simply equal to 7 out of 20. Knowing something about A, okay, or what happened with A, uh, actually has changed the probability of B. So what has happened here is that B is actually dependent on whether A, whether we're given information about A or we're not given information about A. Okay, that's one situation. Let's have a look at another situation. Let's look at a different contingency table. Okay? Just so that I can orchestrate this and make this work. So let's once again say A and A prime, B and B prime. You either purchase A or you don't purchase A. You purchase B or you don't purchase B. And let's say we have 10, 20, 